what are the transaction costs or the funding transaction costs associated with an investment deal? Well, to start with, it's a combination of legal fees and some, in some scenarios, management fees associated with the transaction. Now, these fees are generally negotiated to be paid by the company. Now, the investors are actually providing capital to the company, so the costs are ascribed to the company. So any funds that are going to the company, the closing costs are subtracted from those fees. So ultimately, the company gets less money in exchange for its ownership interest. So thereby the company is actually paying for it because the money that's coming from the investors to pay the legal fees are subtracted from the money that the company will receive. So ultimately the company is paying for it. Now, what does it consist of? Well, in some scenarios you'll have uh, management advisement fees or points off the top that the management company in a venture capital company, the management company will take some percentage of the funding transaction as part of their compensation. Uh, also, uh, it is very common for a legal advisor on both sides to receive uh, legal fees for the various services that they'll provide. So the investors will have legal counsel that's receiving legal fees, and then the startup company will have a legal advisor that undertakes uh, various actions or legal services on behalf of the company. Now, what are some of those services? Well, obviously, advisement throughout the process. Then there's the negotiation of the term sheets and the terms of the transaction. Uh, the uh, investment council will uh, review all the documents, legal, operational, financial, as part of due diligence. The company counsel will provide all of that information or be charged with constructing the data room and pulling all the documents in there for review by counsel for the uh, investors. The uh, counsel for the company will be in charge of drafting the agreements associated with the funding tr transaction or process, where a lot of these agreements are largely automated still. There's a fee associated with drafting them out. There's federal filings, such as uh, securities filings at the state and federal level and any other filings that are required, particularly with the restatement and reorganization of the business entity as part of the transaction. There's the company legal opinion, that is, the attorney for the startup company uh, offers a legal opinion as to certain co corporate governance matters and disclosure of legal and financial standing of the company. And this uh, legal opinion takes on potential liability for the attorney. So the attorney, again, charges for this assurance and this legal opinion uh, before issuing it. So all of these things go into the funding transaction costs. It's not uncommon to see costs between five closer to 10 actually these days, but between 5,000 during an early seed stage funding transaction and 100, 150,000 for a late stage multi-million dollar funding transaction. Uh, and if you go even further up and have one of the major funding scenarios uh, by or an acquisition, then the uh, funding transaction fees go up from there. So it can get even higher. But for early stage ventures, you're looking probably in the neighborhood of $10,000 in legal fees to carry out this entire process. If it's a simple seed stage funding, if there's a lot of due diligence, if it's later stage in the entity, if there's more complicated securities filings for any reason, such as having a crowdfunding scenario or lots of unaccredited investors, or you are going through any type of special financing arrangement, the cost and number of hours dedicated to the process go up and necessarily the transaction costs go up. So this is what to expect in terms of uh, transaction cost and uh, legal fee services that you'll face as part of a funding transaction.